नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस एंड इट्स यूजेस एंड दिस इज द दिस इज माय फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑन टेंसेस एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस इन पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस विद आई ही शी इट प्लस एनी नेम प्लस प्लस एनी सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट प्लस एनी सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट वॉट द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मूला द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मूला फॉर पॉस पास्ट सेम पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस वोज प्लस वर प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी एंड प्लस प्लस आई एन जी प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज द बेसिक फॉर्मूला फॉर टू फ्रेम एवरी सेंटेंस इन पास कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस सो वी विल गो अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस टेंसेज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट आई वी ऑलवेज टेक आई इन अ प्लूरल फॉर्म बट इन कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस इन पास कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस वी ऑलवेज टेक आई वी ऑलवेज यूज वोज विद आई नॉट वर इन कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेज इन कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेज वी यूज आई वी यूज वर विद आई आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस टेंस सो फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मूला फॉर सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट प्लस वोज प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट हो हाउ टू फ्रेम द सेंटेंस आई वोज जम्पिंग आई वो जम्पिंग इन टू द रिवर इन टू द रिवर दिस इज अ सिंपल सेंस दिस इज सब्जेक्ट दिस इज सब्जेक्ट दिस इज हेल्पिंग वर्क जम्प इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म सो प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी एंड द रिवर इज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट्स द फॉर्मूला फॉर नेगेटिव आइटम I know that in all the tenses I am discussing with you how to make negative sentences, how to make interrogative sentences, how to make negative interrogative sentences. So I think you all got how to frame negative interrogative sentences. But again, I am going to discuss it with you. Subject plus was not plus v1 plus ing plus object. Same is here. I was not jumping. I was not a jumping rest of the sentence into the river into the river i was not jumping into the river and same is the case in interrogative sentences subject plus was plus subject plus v1 plus ing plus object same is here was i jumping was i jumping into the river was i jumping into the river and uh, with plural subjects with plural subjects like you we they plus any plural subject any plural subject and with any plural subject how you frame the sentence is subject plus were plus rest of the formula is same v1 plus object subject plus verb was with singular subjects like i he she it plus any name plus singular subject instead of writing i if i write radha if i write david who was jumping into the river with if the subject is singular we will use this formula if the subject is plural we will frame the sentences by using this structural formula so how to frame the sentences they were playing they were playing chess they were playing chess now you will do it with me along with me so they were not they were not playing they were not playing chess were they playing chess were here we also use question mark were they playing were they playing chess question mark means 
वो दे आर प्लेइंग चेस वे चेस खेल रहे थे द एक्शन स्टार्टेड समवेयर इन पास्ट एंड कंटिन्यूज इन पास्ट एट आई विल आई विल एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरीथिंग विद पेशेंस इन द यूजेज एवरीथिंग विल बी क्लियर टू यू सो I think you all got how to frame the sentences by using these structural formulas. Then subject plus were not plus v1 plus ing plus object. Same is a case in interrogative were plus subject plus v1 plus ing plus a object. This is the way to frame sentences. in past continuous tense now we will discuss its uses so the first use of past simple tense is to express an action first of all let me erase it after that i am going to discuss have the uses of this tense with you and they are very easy to understand and i am sure i will clear you each and everything you just have to stay tuned with me and keep looking at the board so i will explain each and everything the first use of present sorry past simple past continuous tense the first use of past continuous tense is to express an action to express an action that was in progress at some at same time in the past to express an action that was in progress first of all let me write it on the board to express to express an action and action that was that was in progress that was in progress at some time at some time some time in past to express an action that was in progress at some time in past and what's the example i was eating dinner i was eating eating dinner at 9 pm i was eating dinner at 9 pm means this tense doesn't told us that action has completed or action has begun or it has a completed or ended but it tells us that action was in progress at some time in past it ended it never provide any information about the end of the tense end of the sentence uh, end of the action i was eating dinner at 9 pm what were you doing at 8 o'clock what were you doing at 8 o'clock at what were you doing at 8 o'clock last night last night so the action was in progress last night means uh, the action was progress la they were talking about last night and action was progress at 8 o'clock last night i was reading a book when he walked in i was reading i was reading a book when he when he walked when he walked in means the action pro the to express an action that was in progress at past progress sometime in past so all the actions that i have discussed with you they are at progress in past dinner at 9 pm he was taking dinner the action was at progress at 9 pm last night 8 o'clock so what were you doing he was asking that what were you doing at 8 o'clock last night the action was progress last night at 8 o'clock and i was reading a book i was reading a book when he walked in jab wo hamare ghar aaya to main kya kar raha tha to main book pad raha tha the action was at that time at progress so next use is to express two or more actions in progress at the same time to express let me raise it and so the next use of past continuous tense is to express two or more actions at the same time the last to express to express two or more actions 
in progress to express two or more two or more actions actions in progress two or more actions in progress at the at the same time at the same time at the same time here means means two actions are at progress at the same time suppose i say i was driving towards mumbai or chennai my brother was waiting for me on the highway if i say, again i am i'm going to repeat another sentence the parents were searching for their children while the children were playing at the beach or along the beach so two actions are going on these sentences i will write it on the board and you will you have to look at the board while i was while i was while i was going going to mumbai my brother my brother was was waiting waiting for me for me at the you can say at the railway station or at the or you can say on the highway on the highway two actions are going on two actions while i was going to mumbai first of all the first action is that you are going to mumbai you are going to mumbai and the second action is the waiting of your brother for you was waiting so two actions are going simultaneously so this tense is used to express two or more actions at progress in the same time if i say the parents were the parents the parents were searching searching the parents were searching their children the parents were the parents were searching their children parents were searching their children at or in the garden in the garden while while the children while the children children were playing were playing children were playing at the or you can say along the beach along the beach in the next sentence also two actions are going on first of all searching of parents for their children and the second action is playing of children along the beach simultaneously two actions are going on so this tense is used for two or more actions in progress at the same time i think this is also clear to you and now we will discuss the third use to express and re often repeated action to express an often repeated action to express an often repeated action to express an often re repeated repeated action to express an often often undesirable undesirable you can say undesirable undesirable repeated repeated action repeated action with word with a word with words like with words like always or continually always or continually etc so by using these words like always and continually and the action is repeated that you don't want that you do not want to repeat and uh, undesired that's why i have written here undesir undesirable she was playing she was always pinching him because he was she was she was always she was always pinching him 
pinching him because because he was he was you can say ke he was a wicked or he was a plump kid he was a he was a plump plump kid they were they were continually continually irritating irritating her they were because because she was she was a buck she was a buckthooth she was a buckthooth buckthooth means buckthooth means buckthooth hair means ऊंचे दांतों वाला जो होता है उसको बकतूथ बोला जाता है सो दे वर कंटिन्यूली कंटिन्यूली वर्ड इज यूज हेयर ऑलवेज वर्ड वर्ड इज यूज हेयर वॉज एंड फर्स्ट फॉर्म विद आई एन जी वर इरिटेट फर्स्ट फॉर्म विद आई एन जी सो टू दिस टेंस इज ऑफन यूज नो अनडिजायरेबल एक्शन आई हैव डिस्कस आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट अनडिजायरेबल एक्शन नो बडी वॉन्ट टू गेट टीज एंड नो बडी वॉन्ट टू गेट पींच बाय सम वन so that's why these actions are undesirable because they were pinching him by saying that you are a plump kid he did not want to listen it that's why the action is undesirable and in the second she was she has buck tooth and that's why she was a buck tooth but now her teeth were okay and they were continually irritating her for that and that's why the action is undesirable and this action is repeated again and again so now we will go on the third use while in descriptions in descriptions means while describing an incident or an event or any function on your family so we always use this tense suppose uh, some guest have come on your uh, some guest has come at your house and you have arranged a dinner party or a meal or a feast for them and uh, when they went and uh, you have to write the same incident in your words which tense you are going to use you are going to you are going to use you are going to use the same tense you are going to use the same tense to uh, in descriptions in descriptions in descriptions in description means while descript while description while descripting anything so you always use uh, this time if i write sushan was cooking the porridge sushan was cooking the porridge sushan was cooking the porridge and the mother was cleaning the dishes and the mother and the mother was and the mother was cleaning the dishes mother was cleaning the dishes the entire family the entire family the entire family was sitting was sitting patiently at the at the dining table at the dining table the children's the children the children were were playing here and there here and there sushan was cooking this is pre this is past continuous tense was cleaning past continuous tense was sitting past continuous tense were playing past continuous tense means while description while describing the things you have described an incident when you took your meal or dinner together so sushan was cooking the porridge and the mother was cleaning the dishes the entire family was sitting patiently so in all the lines past continuous tense was used and the next use is 
indirect in indirect speech in indirect speech as an equivalent in in indirect speech as an equivalent to present continuous tense present continuous tense if you have discussed in your previous classes if you have learned in your previous classes direct indirect so in direct indirect we always in indirect speech in indirect speech indirect speech as an equivalent as an equivalent in indirect speech as an equivalent to or you we can say as an equivalent to present continuous tense present present continuous tense present continuous tense as an equivalent to present conti continuous tense like if i say radha radha said radha said i am singing i am singing a song i am singing a song in the in the festival in the festival tonight in the festival tonight so this is present i am singing present continuous tense rest of the sentence remains the same you just have to replace this tense sentence radha said that radha said that i i is the first person replace according to radha it will it will become she was singing she was singing so as an equivalent as an equivalent to present simple tense is used present as an equivalent to present simple tense past continuous tense is used in indirect speech in indirect speech so the next use is in polite questions in polite questions when you ask some polite questions to your friend or anybody else in polite questions when you want to ask how a particular time has been spent so you always use present sorry past continuous tense in polite questions about how to how a period of time was spent in polite questions in polite questions in polite questions about about how a how a period of time how a period of time was was spent polite questions means very simple questions polite when you ask out of courtesy out of manner so these are the polite questions what were you hiding when the police questioned you what were you hiding what were you hiding when the police when the police questioned you question you in this type of questions this type of polite questions so what were you hiding what were you doing when i asked you what were you doing what were you doing when i asked you when i when i asked you asked you about about exams on phone so this in this type of questions we always use past continuous tense in polite questions and now so now for unfulfilling unfulfilling plans with verb like hope and plan with verbs with verbs like hope hope and plan situation is unfulfilled unfulfilled here means 
होप एंड प्लान अनफुलफिल्ड सिचुएशन अनफुलफिल्ड अनफुलफिल्ड सिचुएशन इफ आई से आई आई वॉज होपिंग आई वॉज होपिंग टू रीच टू रीच चेन्नई बाय नून बाय नून बट यू आर नॉट एट चेन्नई यू जस्ट आर होपिंग मीन्स दिस द सिचुएशन इज अनफुलफिल्ड स्टिल यू आर मे बी यू आर गोइंग टू चेन्नई और यू आर प्लानिंग टू गो टू चेन्नई सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ सेंटेंसेज यू ऑलवेज इफ आई से आई वॉज ये दे वर ही वॉज ही वॉज प्लानिंग ही वॉज प्लानिंग टू सेटल सेटल एब्रोड with his family with his family means he was not settled he is not settled abroad but he was just planning with verbs like hope and plan we always use past continuous tense when the situation is unfulfilled you just are hoping or if you are planning and the last is last is this tense is used this tense is used that action that an action was in progress at a certain point of time in past and was not completed by that time this was not completed by that time and the next point is this tense does not tell us when the action begin and when it was and did you have to keep these things in your mind and the duration of the action completed the duration of the action completed is shorter while the other goes on for a longer time the duration of the action is shorter while the other goes on for a longer time these are the three things i have told you that this <coughs> that this tense does not tell us the action begin or how it ended or when it ended and the next one is the duration of the action completed is shorter while the other goes on for a longer time so this is all from my side thank you have a nice day stay safe